Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. I am starting this video with building this gold hoop frame. I've made this setup for a graduation party for a client. I am trying to organize here and see what balloons I want to work with first and sorting everything by size and a color. I am starting with my black balloons. I grabbed my 17 and 11 inch balloons, inflated them at the same time and tied them together into a pair. Blew another pair. Once I had two pairs, I interwined everything nice and tight together, added a third pair of balloons into it, had to put some music on, and inflated a fourth pair of balloons to add in to my existing cluster of balloons to make a larger size cluster. Repeating that a few times until I have enough clusters of balloons. By the way, for this setup, I am using Sempatix balloons. Sempatix is exactly the same as Betalatix. They are great quality. I am doing exactly the same thing with my gold balloons, what I did with my black balloons. Inflating, pairing, clustering. Once I was done inflating bigger clusters of balloons, bigger clusters of balloons are four pairs of balloons interwined together, so eight balloons in total, I wanted to make smaller clusters of balloons. Smaller clusters of balloons are three pairs of balloons interwined together, so six balloons in total. Smaller uh, clusters of balloons are great to building up volume and shape. And here I am starting on five inch balloons. I am simply inflating them and tying them together into pairs. And I will show you what I will be doing with them a little later. were gone I continued inflating black balloons and then repeat the same exact process with gold chrome balloons five inch balloons I used about 80 balloons in each color fun part begins so I am starting to push my clusters of balloons on this frame and crossing my balloons to lock balloons in one spot and lock the frame in my balloons. I am covering half of the frame circle with balloons, making sure I am not covering frame screws in the middle of the frame. There is a reason for it. This setup will be moved to a pavilion where party will take place. Full construction would not fit through the doors, so the client will unscrew the screws, take the frame apart in half, and only then fit through the doors and transport to pavilion. Once I had a really good base of balloons on my frame, I started attaching extra clusters and quads of balloons to build volume and shape of this balloon garland by tying necks of balloons together. Time to deal with 5 inch balloons. I am tying them together by the necks of balloons, creating 5 inch mini balloon garlands. Adding more volume with extra balloons where it's missing. 
Let's take a break from latex balloons. Inflating my foil balloons with a hand pump, there's a reason for it. And I found a great technique how to face foil balloons on your balloon installations. I am using scotch masking tape, rip a long piece and tie two 60s to it. Once it's tied, tape it vertically to a balloon with four more strips of tape. Horizontally secure first piece of tape. And now you're ready to loop 260 on a balloon garland and your foil balloon will not go anywhere. Once my foil balloons were attached to my balloon garland on my frame, I took some glue dashes and simply secured my foil balloons so they would not twist. Moving down to the bottom portion of my frame, I am pushing clusters on the frame and locking frame inside of my balloon clusters by crisscrossing balloons. I am tying extra cluster of balloons at the bottom to give more volume, repeating the same process with the other side and inflating more five inch balloons because I didn't have enough. Let's put finishing touches on this balloon installation. I am grabbing my five inch mini balloon garlands and simply tying them to my balloon garland by the necks of balloons. You can absolutely use a 260s balloons. You can use rubber bands or some glue dashes, whatever works best for you. Balloon static is real. So I received a tip from one of my subscribers to use a balloon inflator to clean my balloons from all the dust and things that static to balloons. You guys, this trick is amazing. Try it. I love it.